When we're talking about cPanel and the choice between running WordPress on cPanel or on our managed WordPress solution, one of the things we start talking about is how you update plugins. Now, if you're running your WordPress website on cPanel, you're going to update plugins the way everybody updates plugins. And that's one of three ways, right? You're either going to not update it at all because you know that the set of plugins that you have in the versions that you have all work together. And so you're thinking, I don't want to touch a thing. And there's a lot of people that do that. It's not the right answer, but there's a lot of people that do that. The second group of people, they update all the plugins all the times, right? Anytime they go to plugins and they see in their WordPress dashboard that there are plugin updates available, what do they do? Update, 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 update. Again, not the best answer, but surely better than not updating your plugins. And then there's that third group of people. And that third group of people, well, they do it the right way, right? If you're running it on cPanel, what are you gonna do? You're gonna ask for or hopefully work with a host that has a staging environment, You're going to make a copy of your site to staging. You're then going to update one plugin and test it and make sure that your whole site still looks and works the same. And then you're going to update the next one. And one at a time, you go through this process. Now, you can imagine how long that takes. The average website has 20 to 30 plugins. The updates are coming in all the time. You have to do that regularly. And once you've tested it all in staging, you then go to production and you update the ones that you tested in staging to make sure everything was fine. Of course, if it takes too long in staging, things have changed in production at that time, and you have to start all over again. Now, when I talk about that world of updating plugins in a cPanel-based WordPress website, I say that's the best you got. But if you were to use our Manage WordPress solution at Liquid Web, we create a fourth option an option that we think takes the best practice of what you might do on a cPanel and automates it so you don't necessarily have to do the work. So what we do is we take your site, we make a copy. Every night, we look to see if any plugins need updating. Then we make a copy to staging, a different staging than your staging. In that separate area, we update a single plugin and we validate and check it. And you go, well, how do you validate and check it? Are you have people doing it? Nope, we have computers doing it. We take snapshots of the before and after, before images of your homepage and your articles and and your uh, lists of articles. We look at all that before and take pictures. We look at all of that after and take pictures and we compare the pictures. It's called a visual diff or visual regression testing. And we do that in an automated way and we look for any discrepancies. I have guys now working on more code that'll also look into the PHP error log, the JavaScript error log, as we start navigating through the site to make sure that there really are no issues, not even just visual, but non-visual issues. And if we do that for the, for the first plugin that needs updating, and we pass everything, we go and we do it again for the second, and then we do it for the third. We'll send you an email of all the plugins we are able to update, and we'll send you an email of the ones that you can't. We do all that every night. And so every morning you wake up and you realize your site is up to date and you didn't have to do a thing. That's the fourth kind of person, the person who sleeps well at night without any stress of plugins and updating, but not because they're on cPanel, because they're using our managed WordPress solution at Liquid Web. 